if we can increase the pulse power, I can penetrate deeper. And the advantage of night 10 is I can increase the pulse power a, a fair amount without inducing heat because it is not a CW laser. So that's kind of the advantage of that. Let me you flip it around. This is transmission. Let me flip it around in talking about uh, penetration. Tissue penetration by wavelength, six feet, like I mentioned, is shallow. This is 10 and night 10 penetrates deeper because it can pulse higher with less heat. And uh, so that's a CW, same, well, CW with the same, same uh, pulse power, but the night 10 being super pulse, I can crank it up. You know? So that's the advantage. What happens if I combine CW and super pulse? And this is a research that was done a few years ago, about five, six years ago. And uh, there was a uh, uh, research on CW, uh, 10 watt, 10 milliwatts, sorry, with fairly, fairly low penetration, and the super pulse compared to the CW penetration much deeper. But if you combine the two, and this is what I like it, is that it's the CW component, the CW portion penetrates further. It's like the super pulse uh, carries, enables, carrier wave, if you will. We're still trying to understand it more and more. It, it, the super pulse makes the tissue more transparent to the CW, okay? So the CW can penetrate deeper. And I like that because some wavelengths are good for brain, but they get hot, so that's the issue. So how do I lower my power? But if I lower my power, I lower my penetration. Ah, I can't do that. So uh, then I combine that with super pulse. Then I get my, my 1060-40 in fairly deep and the 810 and so on. Okay. This was done by uh, Jan Bordal. And oh, let me summarize. It says the above synergy works with super pulse and CW lasers, but the super pulse laser cannot have low average power. And the fleet power, this is a terminology uh, coined by uh, Jan Tuner in Sweden. Thank <laughs> you.